And Dennis Hebert joins us right now, certified financial planner. Um, it's the time of year where a lot of families kind of get together and have the talk. And you have some help if they want to put their affairs in order to pass on to their relatives. Well, it's an important thing, Laura. Every year I have at least two or three times where somebody, some family member will come in all distraught because they've lost a loved one and now on top of that they cannot find all the important financial mm -hmm. information that they need all the insurance papers and everything else and years ago a gentleman down an attorney down in Atlanta started what he called a love letter to my family and all it is really in its simplest form is a letter that spells out here's where you can find all the important papers that mm -hmm. you would need if anything were to happen to me and it, it, it saves it saves a lot of grief Sometimes it saves a lot of money because the, the individuals, the bereaved, are going out and paying someone else to find things that they should be able to locate on their own. Okay, now obviously a will comes to mind. That's, that's number one, but not the only thing in this list that you have. No, there are what we normally consider, I consider four important documents. A will, a health care proxy, which authorizes somebody to give medical direction in your behalf. Uh -huh. A living will, and the living will is really the end of life statement. What do I want to have happen to me if doctors have really decided that only machines are going to give me and keep me alive? So it's a quality of life determiner. It is, a, and it allows you to speak because you won't be able to speak for yourself at that point in time. Okay. The last document is a durable power of, an, of attorney, and it's important that it's a durable power because what that allows is somebody to handle your financial transactions for you okay. in the event that you cannot do it for yourself. Okay, uh, those are the big four, but then, you know, if you're doing direct deposit, if you're doing uh, automatic bill paying, if you have mm -hmm. a lot of bank accounts, you need people to know where all this stuff is. That's where this, that's where this love letter to my family comes in because it tells you here's the things that I have normally set up that may be going on automatically and they shouldn't be uh -huh. after after mine I've had situations I had one the other day where somebody came in and had old stock certificates they're not sure whether that company even exists okay. they, can't, they can't find the company uh, are these valid or not and many times it, it costs a lot of money to do to some do type of search for that sure. So this, the, the love letter, which I, you have on your website. I do, yeah. What it does is it just gives key areas that people can start filling in. It's sort of a fill in the blanks. Uh-huh. Put it in an envelope. Give it to whoever's going to be responsible for you or for your affairs. And tell them that this is something you will need in the future. Okay, good advice. And they'll have it available. Dennis, thank you so much. Happy holidays to you. And happy holidays to you as well. Enjoy. And, and if this is not a good time of year to do this, um, put it on your New Year's resolution to get all of this stuff in order. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you'll have it. Give peace of mind to your loved ones. Again, we have this all on our website if you want to take a look.